Hi, Rob Myrak here from Myrak Hyundai and Arlington. All of us at Hyundai Motor America are proud to serve again as the presenting sponsor of this year's Jimmy Fun Walk, your way. On behalf of all the Hyundai dealers across the country, let me say a heartfelt thank you for supporting the walk. And of course, best of luck tomorrow. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Boston Marathon Jimmy Fun Walk Your Way, presented by Hyundai, benefiting Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. You know, every fall for the last 31 years, Boston has come alive with people walking along the marathon route to show their support for the patients and families that Dana-Farber serves. This year, of course, looks different. Tomorrow morning, though, thousands of you all across the country are going to be walking your way, bringing the spirit, the passion, and the love of the Jimmy Fun Walk to your own communities. Tonight, we're here to celebrate the people that are making that happen. The walkers, the pace setters, the team captains, and of course, the heroes. We're here to celebrate this community's commitment to keep fighting for a cure, even amid a global pandemic. You're here tonight to celebrate you. I'm Mark Ockerblum from Boston 25 News, and I'm here because the fight against cancer for me, it's a personal one. My big brother Carl battled stage four colon cancer for six years, showed our entire family what real strength looks like. He even ran the Boston Marathon multiple times while battling the disease. And he continued to fight bravely until he lost that battle at age 46. Since then, my family has had a singular goal to do everything in our power to help cure cancer for good. I know that's what brings many of you here tonight. And I'm honored to be here with you in Carl's memory to help Dana Farber reach that goal. Tonight, some of my colleagues from Boston 25 will be helping me share practical information about tomorrow's walk and what you can do to have the best Jimmy Fun Walk Your Way experience. You'll also get to see some familiar faces from the route who want to share messages of encouragement, admiration, and thanks. Most importantly, you'll be hearing from members of the Jimmy Fun community, your fellow walkers who will inspire us and get us pumped for tomorrow by sharing their stories. To start, I'd like to introduce you to two of our Jimmy Fun Walk heroes, amazing, resilient kids and their families who have experienced the care and compassion that Dana-Farber provides for its youngest, most vulnerable patients. Two years ago, our son Michael started getting sick in ways we couldn't explain. His legs hurt. He would get fevers, air infections, and mysterious blemishes. And then at 3 a.m. on Thanksgiving morning, we got the terrifying explanation. We found out he had B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He was four years old. Michael's treatment was a scary challenge for the whole family. But when we went to the Jimmy Fund Clinic at Dana-Farber, things were different. It's more than just a place for Michael to get treated. It's a place where he gets to see friends, doctors, and nurses he loves. We all feel confident that we're in amazing hands. Michael's six now. He just started first grade, and I know it's because of the care he received at Dana Farber that that's possible. I'm Ashley Karen. I'm Mike Karen. I'm Michael. And we are Jimmy. Dana Farber is about so much more than treating and curing cancer. The people at Dana Farber also go above and beyond in their care for patients who are fighting their battles. We were introduced to Dana-Farber after our son Quinn was diagnosed with medulloblastoma brain cancer. The surgeries, blood transfusions, and chemotherapy left him and all of us completely exhausted. But when we went to the Jimmy Fund Clinic, none of that seemed to matter. Quinn's face lit up every time we entered into the lobby. He was so excited to be amongst friends and so excited to be able to play like a normal kid, even if it was at a hospital. That's what Dana Farber and their incredible staff have given us. A chance for Quinn to have a childhood during treatment, and more importantly, a childhood after. He's the mighty Quinn. And we're Jimmy. 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 Wow, Michael, Ashley, Mike, Quinn, and Tara, thank you for your strength and for sharing that with us this evening. The care that Michael and Quinn receive from Dana Farber is not new. This institution has been providing compassionate, state-of-the-art treatment to cancer patients for more than 70 years. Over the last few months, as we've all had to deal with new medical concerns, 
Dana-Farber has remained committed to their patients, who need them now more than ever. The team is even more dedicated to delivering the best possible care while continuing to trailblaze towards a cure. That's also why your commitment this year to the Jimmy Fund and to the walk is so much more meaningful. Nobody knows that. Better than the person who has led Dana-Farber through this global crisis, it's my honor to introduce the president and CEO of Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, Dr. Lori H. Glimcher. Hi, everybody. Well, this has certainly been a year like no other, and I don't think any of us are gonna forget what we've all been through over the last few months. But what stands out to me is the fact that even during a global pandemic, you all are stepping up to walk for our patients and their families, because you understand that cancer continues even when much of the rest of the world has stopped, and that we still need your support to save more lives. So. On behalf of everyone at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, thank you so much and have a great walk. Hi everyone. I've been helping to manage the Boston Marathon Jimmy Fun Walk since it began 32 years ago. And although our team at Dimsey Sports will not be able to deliver the same in-person experience this year, we're looking forward to coming back even stronger in 2021. My name is Dave McGilvery and I am Jimmy. Your support saves lives. Over the years, Jimmy Fund Walk has raised over $145 million for Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, and that money has gone directly into providing the compassionate care that patients and families have come to rely on. It's gone into building programs that help medically underserved populations. It's gone into developing and expanding state-of-the-art clinical and research facilities. And most importantly, that money has got into bringing us all closer to a world without cancer. Funding groundbreaking research is at the very heart of Dana-Farber's mission. Now I'd like to introduce you to someone who has been at the forefront of that mission. Please welcome Dr. Kimmy Ng. Nothing in the fight against cancer happens without research. Every treatment that has ever helped a cancer patient started in a lab. That's what drew me to oncology. Even before I found my passion for patient care, I was fascinated by the science of cancer and the million intricacies that go into discovering how to treat it and how to beat it. For decades, Dana-Farber has been leading that charge. Numerous immunotherapy drugs, which fight off cancer using the body's own immune system, were developed at Dana-Farber and are now used internationally revolutionizing treatment for patients with many different types of cancer. But it doesn't work for all cancers. Some gastrointestinal cancers don't respond as well to immunotherapy, which means those patients are being left behind. And we currently don't know why. That's where research comes in. And that's where the Jimmy Fund comes in. Thanks to the funding that comes from events like the walk, we can investigate those intricacies, those minute details that may be the difference that can help more people survive. That's why I'm proud to participate in the Jimmy Fun Walk as part of Team Terra. Right now, I'm excited to be studying, among other things, whether the trillions of microorganisms that live in our gut, our microbiome, are causing immunotherapy to be less effective for some cancers. That research project and dozens of others like it exist only because of you. And when we conquer cancer, that will be because of you too. I'm Kimmy Eng. I walk for life-saving research and I am Jimmy. I've been handing out oranges along the route since 1996 because I want more walkers to cross the finish line to save more patients. I am the orange guy and I am Jimmy. And now I'm going to turn things over to my colleague at Boston 25 and fellow Jimmy Fund supporter to tell you about what's in store for you tomorrow morning. Vanessa, over to you. Thanks, Ak. I'm Vanessa Welch, and I'm so honored to be here tonight with all of you to help us get closer to a cure. My mom, Jean, was diagnosed with bile duct cancer five years ago. By the time they found it, the cancer was already stage four and had spread everywhere. She didn't have any treatment options and passed away just five months later. 
So this event gives me the chance to remember my mom and to help others at the same time. Last year's walk was incredible to be a part of, and I couldn't be more excited to be a part of this great community. Speaking of tomorrow morning, it all starts with the Charity Miles app. Now, some of you have been using it to track your training walks already, and that's great. But remember, we also want you to use it during your walk tomorrow. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can find it by clicking on the link that's going out in the chat right now or on the Jimmy Fund Walk website. Once you've got that app set up, it is time to walk your way. And we want to encourage you to choose one of our usual four distances, the 5K, 10K, half marathon or marathon, but it's completely up to you. If you have a Jimmy Fun Walk shirt and bib, put those on and be sure to download our Jimmy Fun Walk Spotify playlist and listen to our Jimmy Fun podcasts. As always, safety is a priority. When you're on your route tomorrow, be sure you're staying hydrated. Watch out for traffic, and we recommend writing your emergency contact information on the back of your bib, just in case. Now I'd like to recognize a few of our valued partners who've been with us over the years. The Boston Athletic Association, DMSE Sports, and Interstate Rental have been integral parts of this event from the very beginning, and we couldn't do it without them. And of course, there's our presenting sponsor as well, Hyundai. This is the 18th year that Hyundai has sponsored the Jimmy Fund Walk. And we couldn't be more grateful for their partnership and also their dedication to our mission of conquering pediatric cancer through their Hope on Wheels program. So please welcome now from Hyundai Hope on Wheels, Zafar Brooks. The Jimmy Fun Walk is such an important event to all of us at Hyundai. And it's our great joy to present the Hyundai Hope on Wheels handprint ceremony every year during the walk. This year, like so many other things, we've done it a little differently. Thanks to the many of you who've participated by sending in photos of your hands raised to show your commitment to ending childhood cancer. Every raised hand represents a person who is a part of the fight for pediatric cancer patients. The doctors, the nurses, the researchers, the parents and grandparents, uncles and aunts and friends who are willing to do anything to save a young person's life. The siblings who won't stop protecting their brothers and sisters and most of all, the patients. These young heroes show us what strength and bravery look like every day. Together, all of those raised hands make an army, a force that won't stop fighting until pediatric cancer is a thing of the past. The Hyundai Hope on Wheels photo collage you just saw will live on the event weekend website. After this ceremony is over, scroll around and take a look. The website is also where you'll find all of our walk weekend activities. So make sure to explore and come back tomorrow to jimmyfunwalk.org to create a ribbon on our in honor and memory wall, print out color pages and more. That's also where you'll see the pictures that you and your fellow walkers will post on social media. That's right. We hope that you'll be taking lots of pictures of yourselves walking your way and we want to see them. So tag all of your posts with the hashtag jimmyfunwalk to make them easy for us to find. And if your profile is set to public, any picture with that hashtag will automatically be added to our website. Every first time participant in the Jimmy Fun Walk is exciting, but there's a special place in our hearts for those who keep coming back year after year. So I want to introduce you now to someone who's been a dedicated member of our Jimmy Fun Walk family for 18 years. Please welcome Arnold Kraft. When my son Will was 20 years old, he started telling us about odd symptoms like waking up with a foul smell in his nose. We didn't know he was describing a seizure until one day while we were watching TV, he had a seizure right in our family room. A neurologist soon told us that our son had a tumor the size of a golf ball in his brain. Will battled his brain cancer for eight long years under the incredible care of Dr. Patrick Lennon and his staff at Dana-Farber. Eight years in which he never complained. He never lost his positive outlook. He never doubted that he would win his fight. In 2002, Will decided to do his first Jimmy Fun walk as a way to give back. Even though he was suffering, he completed 26.2 miles. Unfortunately, he never got a chance to do a second walk. He lost his battle in February of 2003. We promised him that we would continue walking and our team has been here every year since then keeping Will's memory alive and raising money for Dr. Wynn's research to improve the treatment of brain tumors for people just like Will. 
My name is Arnold Kraft. I am walking to honor the memory of our son, Will, and I am Jimmy. My classmates and I will miss seeing you all at the lunch stop and serving PB&Js tomorrow, but we're looking forward to seeing you next year. My name is Anna DeBona, and I am Jimmy. I wear several hats. I am the chairman of the Jimmy Fund. I am the president and CEO emeritus of the Boston Red Sox. I am the uh, chairman and principal owner of the Worcester Red Sox. Um, I am also a walker. I am also a patient of uh, the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. And in all, wearing all of those hats, I want to say thank you to everyone for their generosity, for their commitment, and for their good spirit. My name is Larry Lucchino, and I am Jimmy. The more people I see and hear from tonight, the more inspired I am for tomorrow. Until then, I'm going to turn it over to another member of our Boston 25 family and Jimmy Fun Walk veteran, Tom. Tom, take it away. It's all yours. Thanks, Vanessa. I'm Tom Lydon, and I've been privileged over the last five years to meet so many of the incredible people that make up Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Every doctor, nurse, and administrator that I've met has blown me away with their dedication, creativity, and passion for their work and for their mission. And meeting with patients, feeling their positivity, and witnessing their unstoppable drive to beat cancer has left an indelible mark on me. I'm excited to help in any way I can, and I'm honored to be joining you for another Jimmy Fund Walk this year. The patients at Dana-Farber are, of course, the reason we walk. They are the Jimmy Fund Walk heroes whose stories of strength and bravery inspire us every day. Usually you'd see photos of our heroes dispersed along the walk route, but that isn't possible this year. So please, after this ceremony tonight or before your walk tomorrow morning, explore the event website and meet our 2020 Jimmy Fund Walk heroes. Learn more about these incredible children and adults and take their inspiration with you as you walk tomorrow and beyond. The focus that Dana-Farber Cancer Institute places on research is the reason that they will succeed in their mission of conquering cancer. It's also the reason that patients can be sure that they're receiving the highest quality, most state-of-the-art treatments available. Nobody knows that better than the person I'm about to introduce, a patient familiar with the frustration of not having enough options. Please welcome Yvonne Kane. Seven years ago, I came back from the greatest experience of my life, my honeymoon, to one of the worst, being diagnosed with thyroid cancer. When I started treatment, I didn't think it mattered where I went. Treatment was treatment, right? Definitely wrong. They gave me surgery followed by radiation, and it didn't work. The cancer was growing, so they gave me more surgery followed by more radiation. And when the cancer continued to grow and spread to my chest and lungs, they did it a third time. And I realized this is not the right treatment for me. This is not the right place for me. That's when I checked out Dana-Farber and found out how forward thinking they were, how progressive their approach to cancer treatment was. I knew immediately that that's where I should be. I've been with Dana-Farber for five years now, and I've taken a part in multiple treatments and trials, including an immunotherapy trial that finally slowed the growth of my cancer. When I'm at Dana-Farber, I have no doubt that I'm in the best possible hands and that I have the best possible treatments available to me. I am so thankful for my doctors and nurses, Dr. Lorch, Patty, and Jason, who not only give me the best possible care, but also treat me like family. And of course, I'm so thankful for my absolute rock, my husband, Sean. My name is Yvonne Kane. I walk because I believe everyone deserves to be treated by the right people in the right place. And I am Jimmy. Today, I'm very sad that I won't get to see you all in person and be inspired by you. But I wish you great success and the best of health. My name is Joel Karen. My wife is Judy. And this is Jesse. All of us, except Jesse, have our personal cancer stories. And we are Jimmy. Thank you to all the walkers who shared their stories with us and to all the friends and familiar faces from The Root who joined us tonight. You make the Jimmy Fund Walk the meaningful and memorable experience that it is every year. You all said it yourselves. We are Jimmy. I'm going to introduce one last person in just a minute, but before I do, 
I want to remind you of a few things to keep in mind when you finally hit the road tomorrow. One, the Charity Miles app. If you haven't already done so, make sure to download that app before you get started. There's another link to it going out in the chat right now, and you can download it anytime on jimmyfundwalk.org. Two, hashtag jimmyfundwalk. Use that hashtag for all of your photos and all of your posts so we can share this experience together. Three, don't forget to explore jimmyfundwalk.org tonight and tomorrow for all of the event weekend activities, and most importantly, to get to know our 2020 Jimmy Fund Walk heroes. The final reminder is this, it's never too late to fundraise. You can keep raising money and keep supporting the Jimmy Fund and Dana-Farber until October 31st. Okay, this is where I leave you tonight, but you're in good hands. Please welcome our last speaker of the night, director of the Jimmy Fund Walk, Zach Blackburn. Good evening, Jimmy Fund Walk family. You've already heard from so many people tonight whose lives have been changed by Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and the Jimmy Fund. These stories that the heroes that you've heard from and survivors and fighters and family members have told are incredibly inspiring. And there's not much more that I can add to that. But what I do want to say is thank you. The Boston Marathon Jimmy Fund Walk is extremely important to me, not just as your walk director, but as a participant who gets to walk every year and walk with their families. When COVID-19 forced us to transition this year to walking our way, we had no idea what to expect. What would the walk be like in year 32? One thing I did know is you'd all be there with us because you're always there. You stick with us every single year. And not only have you signed up to walk in your communities and neighborhoods, you've continued to fundraise like you do every year. It's incredible. Our team is so grateful for all of your support. A special thank you to all of our pace setters out there who have each raised over $1,000. You'll be able to see their names shortly scrolling across your screen. And the names on that list with asterisks on them are members of our Top 250 Club, our top 250 fundraisers who have gone above and beyond for the patients and families at Dana-Farber. A big thank you to all of our 32-year walkers. You've been with us every single Jimmy Fun Walk, and I knew not even a pandemic was going to stop you from coming back again. A special thank you to our sponsors who have stuck with us again this year, and there's so many other causes that they could support. A particular thank you to Hyundai, our presenting sponsor. What an amazing partner you've been over the years for the Jimmy Fund and the Jimmy Fund Walk. We can't thank you enough. When you walk for the Jimmy Fund, you're not just walking to conquer cancer. You walk like Yvonne so that patients are getting the best treatments. Like Dr. Ng, you walk to discover new and better ways to fight cancer. And like Arnold, you walk to remember the loved ones that you've lost. And we all walk so that kids can still be kids, even as they're fighting their battle, like we've seen with Michael and Quinn. We walk for them, we walk for all of our Jimmy Fun Walk heroes, and we walk for all of us, because we are all Jimmy. I know that you, like my family and I, are going to miss some of those special moments from the walk this year, the moments that are impossible to replicate in this setting. The Chiefs of Police kicking off the 5K start the patients waving at the bridge in Dana-Farber, and all of those volunteers who cheer you on year after year after year. And what would the walk be without our Jimmy Fun Walk heroes that you see every year? These are the moments that make the Jimmy Fun Walk what it is. These are the people who remind us why we walk every single year. And even though you won't see them on your route tomorrow, please remember that they're with you. We all are. We're walking with you. We're waving at you. We're cheering you on. And we're thanking you again and again for walking your way. Have a great walk tomorrow. I wish you the best of luck. Have fun, smile, take tons of pictures, and enjoy walking your way. And most of all, remember why you're doing it. Remember the patients and families at Dana-Farber that you're helping. Remember the difference that you're making. Have a great walk. Wish you the best of luck. We'll see you soon. Good luck tomorrow.